Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad, and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. I cannot believe that it's been a full month already since we took delivery of Vader, the 2021 Camaro SS 1LE. That's right, y'all. As you can see by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, we are doing the one-month ownership review of my 2021 Camaro SS 1LE. Now, as you guys can see, we've done a couple tasteful mods to the car within the last 30 days. And I can't lie, I think all of these small little modifications have completely transformed this car into what you guys see today. Now, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. When I bought this car, the car had a check engine light. It also had a couple of minor imperfections that I had to take care of to get it to be 100%. Um, starting off with the most you know obvious one being the check engine light that the car had basically the previous owner i'm assuming had a holly efi high ram and the cook's long tube header set up on the car and the reason why i say this is because a matter of fact i'll pop the hood all right y'all so that right there you see that notch in the plastic of the firewall that notch right there is for a high ram to fit also you see how the harmonic balancer has rust on it and this right here is sunburnt well those are all consistent with the hood being off of this car and also when i got it the hood did not line up i actually had to loosen the bolts and readjust the hood to get it to line up correctly it was actually rubbing up against the front fender i don't know how well you guys can see but right there where this paint is chipping at the hood was actually rubbing up against that so it kind of messed up the wrap and then the dealership also didn't know what they had they didn't know that this car was a 1le they thought that the previous owner had wrapped it uh wrapped the hood so they tried to take the wrap off which you know they failed obviously check engine light the car had to be retuned because it had the cooks high flow cats on it which it still does also, when I took the car and I put it up in the air for the very first time and I got underneath it, I noticed that the hangers for the exhaust were not connected. The exhaust was leaking in a whole bunch of places. And then on top of that, it was welded crooked. It was leaning more towards the passenger side. So there was no way to actually put the exhaust all the way up to where it needed to be and secure it on the exhaust hangers. So I had to get the entire mid pipe redone shout out to my guys over at aces performance and shout out to my guy 10 speed creed from pulling up all the way from new orleans to houston to come rock with the kid and then on top of that taking the whip to aces to get the exhaust taken care of while your boy took care of you know what i'm saying being at work um now after fixing the check engine light fixing the exhaust realigning the hood this car was actually perfect it's literally perfect there's no flaws you know what i'm saying the paint on six gens are very very thin so there's a whole bunch of swirls in the paint but i'll be taking care of that next month with a paint correction and ceramic coating um so you guys stay tuned for that content as well but yeah man honestly the past month has been a dream yeah the car had the little imperfections and stuff like that that i had to get fixed but at the end of the day the dealership got billed for all of that and it really wasn't that big of an issue now it'd have been different if there was like issues with the body panels as far as like the body lines not um lining up or if the check engine light was for something else then i probably wouldn't have bought the car honestly i really wouldn't have bought the car i had the dealership show me the codes they read the codes in front of me and everything we confirmed that it was for the cat the O2 sensors were not reading properly um, so the car was throwing a check engine light so I made sure all of that was straight I also you know read the car facts and stuff like that made sure there was no accidents prior to me buying the car and stuff like that so yeah man also like I said the uh, that positive battery terminal was sun sunburnt and the cooling reservoir was actually sunburnt to the point where it cracked if you guys haven't seen any of those videos make sure you guys go tap in man you know I've been dropping bangers on bangers on bangers every single day monday through saturday at 4 p.m man so if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications also this is the first video that i'm dropping that we've been at 3k we actually hit 3k yesterday so thank you guys so much for hitting that subscribe button for the kid i really appreciate it thank you for joining the ji squad as you guys can see we are very very lit over here um you know what i'm saying you just can't i don't understand why you wouldn't want to subscribe 
2021 1LE. Candy Apple Red Wheels, 10 speed automatic. I mean, it's crazy. And I'm just getting started. As you guys know, it's only been a month. Um, so going into like the review part of this uh, video, you know what I'm saying? One thing that I really want to talk about is the interior. Now you guys know I'm very big on the interior on this channel just because, you know what I'm saying, the exterior can look good, but you're not seeing the outside of your car when it's rolling. 99.9% .9 of the time you're with your car, it's spent on the inside of the car. And I must say, spending my time in these Recaro seats with the red seat belts, it's a dream, man. Plus that steering wheel. Let me get in the driver's side uh, seat and show you guys what that, what that cockpit view look like. I'm gonna walk over here, man, you know. Grab that door handle, hop in there. Yeah, man, you know, you know. Got the Alcantara on the steering wheel, on the shifter. You know, I'm not really having my hand on that that much anymore because it's not a manual, but it's still nice to have that, uh, you know, soft touch. You know what I mean? Instead of, you know, touching on some hard leather or hard plastic, it's nice to have that nice Alcantara feel when you're, you know, putting the car in drive and whatnot, and also just holding on to the steering wheel. Now, I know I said in my five things I hate about this car, I don't like the steering wheel, and it's not that the steering wheel is wrapped in Alcantara that I don't like, it's just the fact that Alcantara doesn't age well. You know what I'm saying? So I hate the dingy look. Now, excuse the fact that <laughs> my headliner is completely missing right now. Um, <laughs> y'all y'all probably have seen that video already. Yeah, y'all y'all seen that video already. Yes, we're getting the stars put in the in the headliner. I'm getting the stars put in the headliner right now, man. But yeah. So yeah, man, as far as the car goes, all in all, man, 10 out of 10. I've loved every day with it, every moment with it. I've loved driving it every mile that I put on this car. I bought the car with 10,000 miles. It currently has 12,000. So I put 2,000 miles on the car, and I can't even lie, man. They, it's been the best experience. As you guys know, I've owned a lot of vehicles, and this car right here is like probably the only car as to this day that I could have said, I can buy this car and leave it completely stock and just love every moment of it. The car has the MPP active exhaust which sounds stupid good paired with that cat delete and resonator delete. The car is just that magnetic ride is nothing it's like nothing that I've ever felt. This car just drives and handles like no car I've ever been in ever. Honestly, it's just this car is the perfect package, man. And I'm just so stoked and happy that, you know, I get to have this car, own this car, and build this car so that you guys can follow with me every step of the journey for this car. With that being said, y'all, that's actually going to wrap it up for today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, drop a comment in the comment section down below, give this video a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.